This video is covering the concept of recognizing parts of an equation. This is going to come in handy when you start learning how to solving, solve for variables with an equation. So here's our first equation. We want to learn a few things about this equation. We want to focus on the side of the equation that has the variable. So we're looking in this equation, we're looking at everything to the left of the equal sign. That's the side that has the variable. You want to focus on figuring out which number is the constant. And in this case, the constant, that's the number that's being added or subtracted. It's by itself. That's going to be the negative 8. And then you want to tune into the coefficient. Which number is the coefficient? In this case, it's a 5. Now we also want to start thinking about the constant's additive inverse. What is the constant's additive inverse? That's going to be 8. That's the opposite. And then the coefficient, we don't want to worry about the additive inverse for the coefficient. We want to worry about the multiplicative inverse. And for 5, that would be 1 fifth, the multiplicative inverse. Those questions in red, those will really come in handy when we start learning how to solve for variables with these equations. Right now we're just recognizing the different parts. So here's another one. So we're going to tune into, in this case, we're going to tune into the right side of the equation sign because that's where the variable is. The constant is going to be the 3. The coefficient is going to be the negative 6. Notice how I'm including that negative sign in front of it. And now the constant's additive inverse. Well, the constant was a positive 3, so the additive inverse is going to be a negative 3. The coefficient was a negative 6. The multiplicative inverse of a negative 6 is going to be negative 1 sixth. If you don't remember multiplicative and additive inverse, you can go find one of the old videos covering those concepts. So we have another equation. We're going to tune into the left side of the equation sign. The constant, this time the constant's appearing first. So the constant is the negative 4. The coefficient is going to be the number multiplying by the variable, and it's the 9. It's a positive 9. The constant's additive inverse, the additive inverse of negative 4 would be a positive 4. The multiplicative inverse of 9 is going to be 1 ninth. So this time we're going to tune into the left side of the equation. And the constant, which appears first, the constant in this case is a 6. And the coefficient this time is going to be the negative 3. The constant's additive inverse, the additive inverse of 6 is going to be negative 6. So you just take the opposite of that constant. The multiplicative inverse of negative 3 is going to be negative 1 third. So the negative stays when doing multiplicative inverse. If, the, if it was negative, if the coefficient was negative, the multiplicative inverse is still going to be negative. You just may take its reciprocal. We have another equation. We're going to tune into the right side of the equation sign. The constant is the number by itself. It's going to be the negative 6. The coefficient is what's multiplying by the variable. The coefficient is 2 thirds. The constant's additive inverse. The additive inverse of negative 6 would be a positive 6. And the coefficient's multiplicative inverse, the multiplicative inverse of 2 thirds, is going to be 3 halves. We have, we're going to tune into the left side of the equation sign. That's where the variable is. And the constant is going to be a 12. The coefficient is going to be the 1 fifth. The constant's additive inverse, 
the opposite of positive 12 is negative 12. The multiplicative inverse of the coefficient, 1 fifth, is going to be 5 over 1. You could also think of it as 5, not a big deal. So you'll learn how to use these additive inverses and multiplicative inverses in an upcoming lesson. But that's it for this lesson. Best of luck to you. Hope this helps.